But, I mean, Jada Pinkett Smith, I think her reaction is what really started the whole chain of events, in my opinion, for all of it. It's what it was. She she probably looked hurt, and so that set him off. But, you know, she could have just been like, nah, like, went along with him and like, Chris is just stupid. You know what I mean? Like, Could have taken the higher but, road, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, he could have done the very, Will could have done the very petty thing afterwards and in his statement said, you know, I, I, I disagree with what he said. That was really rude and he should apologize or anything like that. We would have rolled our eyes, but it wouldn't have been, it, it would not have been what it's turned into. Yes. And it's just, it's, it's disturbing. And what kills me is like so many people were like, yeah, Will Smith. Yeah, you go for it. And, but these are the same people that call uh, people like you and me snowflakes. Well, a lot of the people that I see in Will's corner and on my news feed, on my Facebook feed, are the people that would call you and me snowflakes. When that was basically, yeah. that was the most snowflake reaction, in my opinion, to anything that I'd ever seen. It's just bizarre. The whole thing was just bizarre. But yeah, I, I'm with you. It's one of those things, again, like I get it. Will Smith was upset and he was just defending Jada. Okay. Was he upset or was Jada upset? Nobody knows. It's, remember what Jay said. It's psychopaths cheering on psychopaths. Who knows? Who knows? It's, it's, it's narcissism at its highest level. Yeah. So who knows? But that, that's the point is like – Leave Chris Rock alone. So many people are, are are speaking out against Chris Rock, and it's like it's really not his fault. He was being, he was doing his job. That's a, that's that's something that's scary. It's like we have to sanitize everything to the point where nothing is funny anymore. But at the same time, there's a difference. Again, like I said making fun of someone at the Oscars. Yes. Versus if, if Chris Rock had gone out and just made that joke flippantly for with no sort of connection or reason, just went on stage and made that joke. Yeah. It wouldn't have been as funny. And yeah, that could have been offensive. Right. If he, yeah. if, if, if he like said something in an interview talking about, yeah, oh, you can an interview. Yeah. But it's the Oscars. <laughs> You're supposed yeah. to be there to have fun. But you're supposed to know that's part of it. Like, yeah. You're supposed to know that you are, while this might be the proudest moment of your life as an actor or whatever, you're still an extremely wealth and hum wealthy human being in your extremely ridiculous outfit, getting a golden statue mm -hmm. for playing make-believe. Like, if you want the average person to enjoy you in any way. There's gotta be something that takes you down a few pegs. Yes. That is what the host does. I hope to God no better nobody ever decides to do a Friars Club roast of Will Smith. They'll die. It they would won't. be it would be like a zombie apocalypse in there. I think that the Academy though, above all, the way they handled it really disappointed me by doing nothing it's bad it, it was really bad he should have been escorted out uh the consequence for that that's what, like he, he got yeah let's let's remember he got to not only stay but get his award and get a standing ovation so again this is i point i mean I, this is not nowhere near as bad as the harvey weinstein thing but it's it's this is a great example and it was in your face of people just not caring they saw their, They saw an assailant, someone who just assaulted somebody for really no reason whatsoever, get an award, and they gave him a standing ovation. I mean, does this mean, like, if I don't get an award for something I do, can I just go and, like, hit the person? Yeah, apparently so. To, to, to say something that I find offensive? Because, honestly... I could probably find offense in just about anything. Right. And and that's another thing. That's a good point. If like you, me, or Pork, or, or Janelle, if any of us had done something like that, our asses would be in jail right now, awaiting, awaiting you know, charges. 
uh, waiting to hear what happens next, and we'd probably be going, we'd probably get sued and go to trial. And mm-hmm. we'd, have, we'd have to pay some money. But Will Smith gets a trophy, what the, the most distinguished trophy in in Hollywood, and gets a standing ovation and and no consequences. No consequences. It's literally the participation trophy that everybody hates. <laughs> it is. That's exactly what it is. Well, you tried. Mm-hmm. And what is Chris Rock? Chris Rock gets a, a Will Smith hand shaped mark on his face. That's what he gets. Yep. Like, and the fact that there are people in public that are in the in his profession that still support him, that also bothers me because, like I said, th- so there's no consequence for what he did. Just because Chris Rock is not, or is, you know, accepting, which I don't think he should. Because that's another thing. Chris Rock was the first one to come out and apologize. Yeah, he was the bigger man. Yeah, like, but there should be some sort of consequence for that. Like, Christian Bale was a great actor. He did a phenomenal job in Batman. Yeah. When it came out that he was a loose and crazy cannon, he stopped getting the bookings, right? People stopped singing his praises. So, the fact that that's not at all happening for Will Smith. When Will Smith did it to in public to like a person, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, this I mean, this just happened and he won the award because you know it was predetermined before the show anyway. So maybe maybe he won't get the the same amount of roles as he was getting from here on out. Maybe things will change. Yep. So we just have to wait and see, but I that was the weirdest thing. Again, you know, I, I understood Will's side of it. He he's because the man he's he's been through a lot. He has. I'm going to give it to him. But and 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 the, most of it is because of Jada. Jada has put him through a lot. She basically just said and to him again on in te- on television to his face, I have sex with other people, and he can't. And it just it broke him. And. And I'm, yeah, sure, but- and I'm sure they're working on whatever and i'm sure he's got a lot of emotional turmoil going on in his brain but like the the thing that the last straw the thing that sets it off is a gi jane joke about about jada it's just you know that's the thing it's like he was way out of line and no matter how no matter what you feel about will no matter how you know bad off he might be there's no excuse for that and at the end of the day something should have happened yep but like i said you look in hollywood you you look the other way because you you did acting job good so that's all that matters it's another world out there it's a whole nother world they don't live normal lives. They don't know what a normal life is. And apparently, like when you know you try to bring up that fact, you're gonna get smacked. So you're maybe we can stop talking about. It. Exactly. So here we are. I guess we just have to pretend like it was all good and everything's fine. No worries. Nobody got slapped. We're literally just etch a sketching. What are you doing with your hand over there? I'm trying. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Like me. Janelle's trying to do uh, TikTok trends while I'm trying to do the show, and it's very distracting. <laughs> it's fine. 